Night Light Sports Extra is brought to you by Isabella Bank. Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Night Lights. We are in week six for high school football in mid-Michigan. And we have double digit gains for you once again. Plus we'll be presenting our WNEM play of the night. In addition to that, we'll announce our three finalists for next Friday's game of the week. There are still several undefeated teams in our area. Let's find out who improved to 6-0. Friday Night Lights Game of the Week is brought to you by Priority Waste. Two 5-0 and o teams colliding tonight. Corona hosting Goodrich. And boy, was this a physical game early on. Chase Burnett comes up, makes the big time hit for the Martians. The Cavaliers answer right back. Caden Minton getting through the line to make the big time play. He's fired up. And so was the student section. Corona's offense would start to roll. Wyatt Bauer had to get taped up. So Caden Cowdery comes in and throws a bullet to Bryce Eddington in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. The Cavaliers defense was relentless. Goodrich down, but trying to mount a comeback. But it's Bryce Eddington getting it done on the defensive side. He picks it off as Corona. Sends a statement tonight, defeating Goodrich for the first time since 2016. Final score, 35 to 7. All right, well, another team that's looking to stay unbeaten beating tonight is Freeland. The Falcons on homecoming night were taking on a 4-1 and one burst run squad as we go into the first quarter. David Lopez, he's going to make the quick throw over to Gage Martinez, who's hit immediately by Nathan Helmreich to end this drive for the Panthers. Shout out to Coach Brady of SVSU. He was at this game. Now the Falcons with it. Helmreich again, who's going to break through the defense for a big gain down the sideline before he gets tripped up at the Panthers' 30-yard line. That would set up Freeland for this big play as the crowd was rolling and Braden Petrie takes the handoff getting the easy touchdown for the Falcons. Freeland remaining undefeated on homecoming night with the win 52 to 8. Staying the Tri-Valley Conference, Garber meets up with Frankenmuth. Opening kickoff here as Garber gets it down there as Hunter Bernthal will take it. He will find a lane right here and he will keep on going, getting some great blocks downfield. And he sees all green in front of him as he goes all the way for the opening kickoff for a touchdown. The extra point would be good and it would be 7 0 Eagles. Frank moves Griffin uh, Barkwood, Barker. Runs it in right here for the touchdown. The extra point would be good to give the Eagles a 14-0 lead. Garber's Owen Halstead passes to Max Fellows for the touchdown right here. Garber chips into the lead, but it would be Frankenmuth winning this one 54-7. Now let's head to an intriguing Saginaw Valley matchup between Lapeer and Grand Blanc. Both of these teams hungry for a win after losses last week. The Lightning strike. They're going to hand it off to Michael Brewer. He shows off his strength, carries defenders into the end zone for the touchdown. Lapeer takes the early lead. Back come the Bobcats. Jake Morrow going to go to the air. Deep downfield to J.T. Weber. He hauls it in for the touchdown as Grand Blanc goes on to defeat Lapeer tonight 44 26. Sticking with the Saginaw Valley League, Carmen Ainsworth traveling to take on a Saginaw Heritage tonight. Second quarter, Heritage up 20 to 6. Alex Looney gives it to Marcel Warren, rumbling down the field, getting past the first down. A big play for the Cavs, but Carmen Ainsworth would stall out, so the Heritage gets the ball back. Ty Robertson, the freight train of Heritage, taking the direct snap off to the races, looking for it all, but just gets brought down inside the 10 yard line. The Hawks, they're looking to score big now. Ethan Mason has it, throws a screen pass to Bray. Braylon Isom making the jump and grab, cuts and jukes into the end zone for the touchdown. Heritage getting the big win, 56 to 18. Now let's zone in on another local team that's looking to stay unbeaten, Beale City. And get this, the Aggies' closest game this year was an 18-point win. Beale City hosts Everett tonight. First drive of the game, Jack Fussman gets the off snap, keeps it himself to the outside. His blockers give him some room to roam on the sideline for a 20-yard gain. Later in the drive, J uh, Jamison Latham gets the handoff. He bowls through a pair of tackles on his way to a 12-yard touchdown. They would convert on their two-point conversion try to make, it eight, uh, make an eight-nothing lead. Next possession, Latham gets the ball again, finds some room on the sideline, and the stiff arm right here, and he would have a clear room in front of him and just taken down from behind. But Beale City would pick up the win, 30 to 16. 